very tiny so-called wasps. But these wasps are not stinging, and these wasps are very tiny, and they are called phytophagous wasps. Why they are wasps? Because they are belonging to the order Hymenoptera, and they are living in Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, and today actually 18th day of war. Sorry about that, terrible time. But we are recording this video to support Ukraine. And who are these wasps? By the way, these are so-called calcid wasps belonging to super family Calcidoidea, increasing the magnification. So you see, they are very similar in the body shape like bees, like bees, like ants, yes, because all of them they're hymenoptera, and they're belonging to the special family. New one, former name, Torimide, and present name is Megastigmide. And this is a special genus, genus Megastigmus. And what about size? Sorry about some shaking. I try to make it carefully. Megastigmus. Calcid wasp about size, about three millimeter. And you say, what's going on about the body? What's about stick from the body? It's not a stick. This is so-called ovipositor. Ovipositor is important part of the body of calcid wasp and other hymenopterous insects because it's used to lay egg inside food resource, either host or animal or insect or maybe plant. So these insects, very special, they're named phytophagous wasps because they just hatched, they just emerged from seeds inside dry fruits of rosa dog, genus rosa, very common seeds and fruits just near all houses, everywhere in the world, in Europe, in Ukraine. Definitely so, I collect it near my house. I collect it in our countries, especially in Turkish Republic. And this is very interesting genus because it has several species worldwide. So we are searching for maybe new species or for new distribution of species in Europe. So maybe we are living in your era as well. And what we are doing here, you can recognize, we are just feeding on honey. Because we just hatched, as I said, just yesterday. And we are hungry. I proposed them just a small piece of cotton with water. But water is not enough. I know from experience they really enjoy honey. Because they need to be fed on flowers, but now flowers just somewhere on the ground. No flowers on rose dog. But, you know, rose dog is going to be blooming soon. And these insects will use their lone ovipositor for the process which is named oviposition. Oviposition. This is a process of laying egg inside food resource or host or host plant. So as I said, host plant is a rose dog. So when rose dog will start to flowering, these happy females, yes, here we see females with long ovipositor, will search for flowers of rose dog and especially for the down part of a rose dog flower where new seeds will be forming so they will be laying the down laying their eggs penetrating the skin of a future fruit of rose dog or just a green tiny green fruit will be penetrated by this stick this ovipositor and this nice really beautiful Phytophagus 
wasps will lay eggs inside green sea, seeds, green fruits of rosy dough. So larvae will be developing inside seeds of rosy dough and growing, growing, becoming pupa and pupa will be overwintering and new, new adults like this one, females and males will appear just only in the next spring. So that's why the lifetime is very special. Adults just living maybe a few days or few weeks just from the hatching time till oviposition if they survive. But larva will develop in very long time, approximately at least, you know, 11 months, nearly one year, or at least 10 months, and one month will be pupa before hatching as adult. So I'm keeping my seeds, more precisely, dry fruits of rose dough in a glass jar and waiting for new calcid wasps, which will be hatching, hatching very soon. So, and I will be showing new stories about them under the high magnification of my zoom camera. Because this is video which is called on telephone, just like tra translation, just ready, just because they're happy to come to be collected near the near the honey. But well, big magnification video from my camera will be uploaded a little bit later because it needs to be uploaded on computer and just written the title and then just upload it. So it will be later, but under the high magnification of a zoom or my microscope, I will show you some features of morphology, features of body of these lovely tiny insects. But if you have interested in animals, in insects, so you can make your experiment with these wasps too. You can collect a rosy dog, keep it in a glass jar, especially now in a springtime or just beginning of summer very soon, just immediately now in May. In April and in May, need to collect dry fruits from shrubs, even just shrubs already green, but fruits are still dry. Keep them in a glass jar, and these lovely animals, these lovely insects, Phytophagus calcid wasps, will be hatching very soon, and maybe, who knows, maybe new species for science will be collected in your area. So contact me and we can discuss how to study your insects and who was collected in your area. And hopefully it can be useful cooperation for science. And don't forget to subscribe to my video, press like, write your comments, share this video or visit my Patreon sponsorship page or just join membership on my YouTube to support my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon on my channel. Can I make a magnification? Yes, like this. See you soon. Bye bye. Good luck. See you soon. Megastigmus, you are still here and very happy. Bye bye.